Okay, this is a brief demonstration of an application that I added to my drive um, today, and I've uh, deployed domain wide to uh, Wheatley Park. So if you um, go onto apps on a Chromebook or signed in on a PC, you'll find it. Um, so the app is Draw.io, and this is um, similar in many ways to uh, Lucid Charts, which we uh, which we use, I know some of you use, um, and um, when you started at the start with the last queue, do you want to uh, save directly to your Google Drive and you have to click on OK and accept the permissions. So this allows you to draw diagrams in the same way as Lucid Charts does, um, but I found it slightly more intuitive and easy to use but it's early days so for example if I wanted to make a sort of basic organizational chart let's have a uh, rectangle and we'll put it at the top and we'll double click on it and put head we won't worry about formatting the text or anything at the moment and you can then specify the type of connectors that you have down here I'm gonna have that one I think and then you can create little sort of connector arrows and things like that and it will put whatever box you had selected on at the end you can choose other types of boxes um, uh, so an assistant head there and you'll notice you get this little arrow thing so if you click on that you can just connect away to your next level wherever you want to go, I don't know, let's go down here and let's have a uh, faculty and let's have actually let's change connector let's have that one and let's have Teacher one, uh, oops, that's another thing. There we go. Teacher two, it allows you to line things up really quite easily and quite nicely. You get the idea, I'm guessing, and so on. I can add, I just drag it around to line it up. So you can create organizational charts very easily, and the selection of uh, shapes that you can use to create your organizational charts is very large. Um, and the selection of connector arrows is very large. So whichever one of these you've got selected will be the connector arrow that connects your objects um, together. So if I click on that, you'll have a connector for that one, and it will put in the next level. Um, there are loads of additional graphics that you can put in and shapes and things. Um, you can do an image search within here. Uh, So perhaps I don't want um, that. I might have a teacher, and I want to link that to there. I might want it a little bit smaller, and of course you can have a lopsided teacher if you want. Okay, I'm probably a lopsided teacher. There we go. Um, and you can add lots and lots of things. Um, there are some options for adding other things, and that's background colour. More shapes, there we go. So most of them are selected by default, but there are additional ones. So if you're doing a network diagram, you might want Cisco uh, objects. Um, let's have a look at signs. Clipper and electrical <coughs> and these will appear at the bottom uh, 
Uh, so you've got a lot of clip art things here now. Clip art computer, which is quite nice if you want to do a network diagram, possibly better than the Cisco one. Quite like the server diagram, so you could have a server in there perhaps. Um, uh, signs, signs. So we could have a nuclear symbol in there as well. And uh, signs tech. You get lots of nice um, icons, a USB symbol. There we go. And um, you could play with this all day. Food. There we go. Let's have a restaurant as well. Um, actually, teachers eat radioactive food. Okay, that sort of you can dynamically move stuff around just like you can in Lucid Charts. But I think um, for me, on an initial trial, it slightly edges Lucid Charts for me. Um, and I've tried doing sort of maps of the network, school network with this, and it's possibly easier to do this. And it's easier to get the look that I want with this than it is with Lucid Charts. But that might just be a personal thing. It saves to your Google Drive, so it'll say here in a second, it's uh, all changes saved in Drive, and if you look in your Google Drive, you'll find wherever you've called it. I think this is just untitled, so save as, and give it <coughs> a name. Anyways, um, that is draw.io. And if you've got Google Apps, you can have draw.io pro. And uh, it seems to work um, very well.